Hey guys, it's Brandon, aka The Workman's Pomp, and today I'm going to be giving you a mini, my comprehensive mini guide to how to grow out, maintain, and style, and overall just manage longer hair. Um, the reason you might be asking, why did you grow your hair out so long? I still use pomade, I still use products, but I'm going to tell you how I use them uh, as we go along. You might be asking, why'd you grow your hair out, Brandon? One, it's something I've been wanting to do since I was in high school and I never had the patience. And probably like a lot of you that are watching this video, you're probably like, oh man, like my hair gets to a certain point and I just can't do it. That's how I've always been. Um, so I'm gonna tell you how I got over that. And two, uh, once my hair is long enough, which I'm gonna grow right down to this, let it be mark, I'm probably gonna get it cut and I'm gonna give it to Locks for Love. So I figured this is, you know, this is not my preferred hairstyle. I don't think it looks terrible. Um, I don't have a bullet that bad anymore and I can put my hair back if I want to and look somewhat professional at work. Um, so yeah, that's the main thing. It's just kind of a long time goal and I wanna give my hair to Locks for Love now that I've gotten past the difficult part. Cause like from like your hair length from like about here to like right there is the super difficult part. So um, I'm gonna give you tips, tricks, what I did to maintain and how I didn't lose my mind trying to grow my hair out. So. Number one, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is let your hair grow. It doesn't matter if you have a bald cut, if you have like a, you know, it's shaved on the side and longer, just let it grow. Eventually you'll get to a point, which is usually about six months, where it starts to look lopsided and weird. If you have it completely buzzed on one side, then yeah, you might wanna go to a, a stylist or a barber beforehand and have them kind of trim your hair a similar length and then let it grow out. But if you just have a normal haircut, then just let it grow for about six months. At about the six month mark, I noticed that my hair became kind of unruly and it was weird and hard to style and it was misshaped. I could put part of it up into a tiny ponytail, but like the rest, I couldn't do anything with it. I then went to a stylist. This is my number one point. If you're gonna do long hair, uh, you gotta go to a stylist. And some people might be like, oh, well, well I don't wanna feel girly or whatever. Well, first and foremost, it's 2022, so who gives a crap? And secondly, nothing against barbers, but I've noticed that every time I've gone to a barber, they just don't cut my hair right, my long hair, when I'm telling them I'm growing it out. If you go to a stylist and literally just say, hey, I'm a man, I'm growing my hair out, they'll literally be like, I got you fam. And they'll trim it and layer it in a manner to where you literally don't want to like lose your mind every time you try to style your hair or maintain it while you're growing it out. That is number one. And going along with number one, 1 1.5, listen to your stylist. Um, like I said, they'll know how your hair is growing. They'll know what, what you need to do. But pretty much some of the stuff I'm gonna tell you is what I figured out and what a stylist would probably tell you regardless. So grow your hair out. So. When you're in the awkward middle phase where you get it kind of logging and starting to get shaggy, what are some of your options? Well, you could wear a hat. You could just go along, wear a hat the whole time and be like, I'm just gonna wear a hat. I'm not gonna, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna let my hair grow out while it's awkward. Wear a beanie, you know, do whatever. And I noticed too, when my hair was kind of getting a little bit shaggy and stuff, pardon me, when my hair was getting a little bit shaggy, what I would do is kind of tuck it up in here in the back like that. So all my hair would fit perfectly in here. So you could wear, like I said, tuck, a, tuck your hair up into a hat, into a beanie. There's gonna be an awkward stage. Um, because some of your hair is just gonna wanna go all over the place. If it's curly, it's gonna be even worse. So find a hat you like. You could use gel, but I feel like it makes your hair look greasy. And um, essentially what you can also do, and this is what you can do when it gets to like the medium length as well, where it's like kind of free hanging down here, is get a clay. You could get something like a texturizing clay, like the first hand, or you could get something like a volume and hold uh, foam from Dauntless. Something like this, to where you just put it in, apply it, and basically, after using it for a little bit, it'll hold your sides down. Because what you're gonna initially run into is you'll notice you'll be able to put maybe a tiny little up like this, but then there's gonna be like scragglies all over the place and you can't figure out what to do with them. That's the hardest part. If you're not 
afraid of like the ultimate goal if you're not afraid of doing something like this which i wasn't because i didn't care is and you can hide it discreetly is get a barrette just a black barrette and put your hair back right here when it's shorter and that'll keep your sides in place and then you can maybe put the bottom into a ponytail or something like that because once you get to your first six months you're gonna be like hitting a point to where it's kind of like mm, i can manage the upper part up here but i can't manage the lower part and that is what gets really really difficult so use a clay or use barrettes or use a hat to get past that i don't really have much more to say like honestly it's an awkward phase if you really want the ultimate like easier way to do it start growing your hair out in the winter in the fall because when the winter comes around you can wear a hat if it gets cold in your area and then you know when the summer comes around you're like oh okay cool sweet some of this grew out or whatever but like i said a clay a spray barrettes you know what i would used to do is i would do something kind of like this where i had the top part that was like you know easy to deal with and i put it in like a little bun and then these side parts i would just barrette down right here so it looked like my hair was where i wanted it to be now which is long enough to put it into a ponytail overall so that's the growing phase you're probably realistically your your stylist when you tell them they'll probably want to see you in another three months and then another three months to continue to get your hair one length after a while like i said my hair to the point now is it's like one length on each area it's where i want it to be it's manageable i'm in the easy phase the other thing when you get your hair long enough to get into a ponytail you're going to want to get a little thing like this but what i like is these ones they don't have any sort of band in the middle. It's just all cloth. These don't tear your hair out. They're really nice. I used to get migraines. That was another reason I didn't like growing my hair out is that I would get migraines really bad from having my hair pulled back. But these work fine and I don't get migraines. So, okay. When you get to like the medium to longer stage, then what you wanna do is get something like a texture spray. I really, really love the Root and Muddle one. You could get something like this. And surprisingly enough, the Suavecito Texture Powder is super awesome. I love this stuff. You just put it in your hand or in your hair, comb it through or put it through your hair and it'll um, <clears throat> apply a matte effect to your hair, but also just let your hair be wavy. It's awesome. And I have a review of both those up so you can check it out if you're interested in it. Um, but this stuff is awesome and the Root and Muddle is really good too. One of the other things you're gonna want to realize, and this is more of like, overall through the whole thing when your hair gets to the medium stage moving forward one of the biggest things you can understand is that once your hair gets longer you can't treat it like you have short hair anymore this isn't like pomade a video of this you you know so basically at that point there's a couple of things you're going to want to do that when i changed really really helped out you're going to want to wash your hair less i know that sounds ridiculous because you're like oh but you want your hair to be natural and maintain good oils and washing your hair less will allow your hair to naturally take shape and also let your hair do get its oils out and make it look better now you might be saying and healthier because uh, washing your hair all the time you're going to be damaging it you're going to be messing with it um and another quick tip when you're washing your hair um and it's wet let it free dry putting it into a ponytail right away, um, or putting a hard comb through it, it's gonna tear your hair out. Uh, my stylist was said, imagine your hair being like spaghetti. Wet spaghetti is easy to break, so let it dry and then try and mess with it. Just let it dry naturally. Don't try to be styling it and freaking out with it. I personally, I'm gonna be real with you, I don't blow dry my hair. I don't like doing it. I think it's bad for your hair and I just don't like blow dryers and um, I don't really, have the time plus you can hear everything in the apartment i am and i don't want to blow out my neighbor's ears blasting a freaking hair dryer at like seven in the morning so i don't use them so you wash your hair less your hair gets oily then at this point you're thinking well what am i supposed to do my hair is getting oily well there's a couple of things you can do you can once again go back to a matte product a texturizing powder to make it look more matte or you can use a dry shampoo. I was suggested to use this Living Proof shampoo. 
I do not like the shampoo you pour into your hand. I do not like the powdery shampoo. It clumps up. Unlike the Suavecito Matte, this stuff, but the other stuff, like dry shampoo, just clumps up in my hair really bad. Spray, however, works awesome. And each one says, you know, use it a certain way, but basically you hold it out this far, spray it into your hair, and then what you're gonna wanna do is get like a big brush like this, like a wide paddle brush, and comb the dry shampoo through your hair. That will make it so that your hair isn't super duper oily and will make it to where it's healthy throughout the week. Believe me, the dry shampoo works really, really well, and it'll help your hair maintain the oil, look natural, feel better. Um, yeah, so for me, I wash my hair about once a week now, but I would not be against washing it every three days. I'm gonna try doing that and switching it up. When washing your hair, you wanna wash the ends. And here's another thing you might be saying, cause I got these wispies back here. You might be saying, oh, should I cut those wispies? No, let them grow out. They look heinous, I'm gonna be honest with you, but let them grow out so eventually you can put all your hair up naturally into a tail. If you're going for the long run, if you just want to get like a tail and leave it short, like a shorter look, then yeah, you could get rid of the little fuzzies. But personally, let them grow out uh, because you're gonna have to maintain the cut back there and it's gonna look tacky when you have your hair up. It's gonna be more noticeable. Plus everyone who grows their hair out has those little wispies in the back. So I don't think anyone's gonna think twice about it. When washing your hair, like I said, wash the ends. This is the part right here. All of this stuff right here, this stuff like outward, this is the hair that you want to like maintain. This is the hair you don't want to be dry and like have a bunch of messed up ends. The roots is where all the oil is gonna be and like where everything's gonna be at. So like when washing your hair, yeah, put a little bit up there obviously, but like main, mainly when you're washing your hair, when you have short hair, you just put it on top and go all over the place. But with hair like this, longer hair, you're gonna wanna get the ends clean. Clean all of that and then do a little bit up there. That's a tip I have for when you do wash your hair. Um, and then let's say you're of the other type of people who don't get, who doesn't uh, make a lot of oil and your hair gets really dry. Um, then you're gonna wanna get a leave-in conditioner. Um, this particular brand, I can never say the, the name right. It's like, I'm not gonna even try. I'm just gonna put it up there. But this particular brand, you can spray a little bit in your hand and mix it in and it'll, if your hair is super poofy, or let's say you have really curly hair, this will help tame it down and make it look how kind of my hair looks right now. I use the leave-in conditioner about once a week, but my hair gets so oily that it doesn't really matter to me. Um, and you know, like I said, I'm gonna start washing my hair, I think twice a week now, uh, just to see how it works. So I'll report back in the comments section. Also, when you wash your hair, you can do something like I do. I uh, have this iconic pomade, it's called Hair Candy. It's a light pomade um, that you can style light looks with, but also it's a deep conditioning thing. So what I'll do on my wash day, which is usually Sunday, is I'll put this in and let it sit all day, which is awesome because it smells like candy, it smells good. I love it. And then um, I'll comb it back and then go and wash it out at the end of the day. So you could put a deep conditioning thing in and in place of the uh, leave-in conditioner if you wanted to. If you do it twice a week, you could do this twice a week and that could take place of that. Um, to stimulate your hair, if you want, if you're not growing enough oils or you want your hair to be natural, you can get a boar hair brush and this will stimulate the roots, uh, which will help it to make oil, obviously. So you can do this if you want. You can see it looks kind of like when I do like that, it looks kind of greasy and shiny. You can also get like a normal comb. Some people like to do that. I'm gonna be real with you. You can see how like my hair is kind of getting kind of frizzed out when I use a normal comb. I have preferred more to use these Denman brushes. So that's just me, it feels good. It exfoliates your scalp. And um, you know, it doesn't pull off a lot of hair. I got a little clump of hair, uh, but that's because I haven't cleaned that brush in a while. So that's kind of me just free forming, talking about how I would grow my hair out, like how I did it, what I've done to maintain it and where I'm at now. Now, what I use normally daily is I'll use the Suavecito mat or I'll use um, nothing and just put it up like this or put it in a bun 
and it looks fine. I mean, this looks kind of like how I would normally, like if I popped it up a little bit in the front, this looks kind of how I would normally like wear my hair back in the day when I had pomade in it. And you can't really tell, like looking at me right now, you're like, oh, he has his hair slipped over until I go back to the side. So um, that's how I maintained when I was growing out my hair, how I didn't go crazy and cut it. A stylist, you could see a stylist right away and get their opinion, but I think they're one of the biggest pieces to the puzzle. And patience, obviously. Don't cut your hair, just let it grow. And once it gets to a certain amount, then you should cut it every three months, pretty much. And that's where I'm at. I get a haircut every three months now. Growing out your hair will save you money too. I mean, like you get a giant thing of, of shampoo or the dry shampoo or the conditioner or whatever, it lasts you forever. Cause you don't need to use a lot. That's the thing I learned when washing my hair. When it says use a quarter size amount of shampoo or quarter size amount of product, that's all you need. That's really all you need to get your hair feeling clean. Like all, it's, it's insane. Um, shampoo advice, personally, I like charcoal shampoo. I don't have it sitting here in front of me, but I have a shampoo and conditioner from Shea Vu, and I absolutely love that. Their charcoal shampoo is really good. They also have an activated oil shampoo that you can like shake and cleanse, and that can take the place of a shampoo once a week. That stuff is really good. So those are my suggestions to you. Um, like I said, if you get greasy, you can use a matte powder product. If you get too dry, you can use a conditioning product. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all of my advice for growing it out. And for me, I'm about almost at a, yeah, maybe under like eight months, nine months of growing my hair out. I can't remember when I started growing it. It was like over the summer, like at the end of the summer. So I'm almost to a year and my hair grows really fast. So that's what I would say. That's all of my advice. If you have questions, comments, or you want to add to what works for you, if you have long hair, please put it in the comment section below. I do check my comments and try to reply back. So yeah, anyways, guys, have a good one.